Reading aloud to you, a vintage Cinderella book, first published in 1979, reprinted in 1983 and 1984. The wonderful story of Cinderella. There once was a widower who had a charming daughter. After a while, he married again, but his second wife was a wicked lady with two daughters, whose hearts were as black as their faces were pale. This is the story of the charming daughter, who was so mistreated by her stepmother that she had to sleep in the chimney corner amongst the cinders. That is why she was called... Cinderella. The poor girl toiled endlessly, and her only friends were the little mice who liked to keep her company. One day the son of the king was giving a ball, and Cinderella had to prepare the dresses of her stepsisters. They made such fun of her. How people would laugh if they saw you at the ball, Cinderella. You are not nearly pretty enough to go. Cinderella wept, but where no one could see her. Cinderella's godmother, who was a fairy, heard her crying and hurried to her side. Do you really want to go to the ball? she asked. Oh, yes said Cinderella. Without further ado, the fairy changed a pumpkin into a coach, the mice into horses, a big rat into a coachman, lizards into footmen, and Cinderella into a dazzling princess. She glittered with jewels, and her dancing slippers were made of glass. Cinderella hugged the fairy gratefully and was warned not to return after midnight. On the stroke of midnight, the coach would become a pumpkin again. The horses would turn back into mice. The coachman would turn into a rat. And the footmen would turn into lizards. Cinderella went to the ball and everyone at the palace wondered who this beautiful stranger could be, upon whom the king's son bestowed such favor. But on the first stroke of midnight, Cinderella ran out of the palace. In her haste, she lost one of her glass slippers. The king's son, who ran after her to try to make her stay, picked up the slipper and sighed. What a charming little slipper, he said to himself, and his heart went out to her. He looked for her everywhere without finding her. Only the glass slipper remained to convince him that it had not all been a dream. He made it known throughout the land that he would marry the girl whose foot was small enough to fit the slipper. So all the young ladies had to try it on, but not one of them could fit it. When the king's son came to Cinderella's house, he offered the slipper to the two ugly sisters, but their feet were large and clumsy. Despite all their efforts, they could not make it fit. Cinderella was there as well. May I try? she whispered. The king's son looked at her and ignored the taunts of the two sisters. He held out the slipper to her. She placed her dainty foot in the shoe with ease. Cinderella did not dare show it but her heart was filled with joy. How happy she was! The two sisters were mad with jealousy. 
Cinderella married the prince and forgave her wicked stepsisters, for she was kind as she was beautiful. Cinderella had a long and happy life with her prince. It is always right that kindness and goodness should prevail, but does it not also help all to end well? When one has a fairy godmother. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story of Cinderella. To hear me read more vintage classic books, then please check out my playlist in the description below. And for more stories, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a lovely day.